Hey guys, just doing a short video on how I budget and maybe it'll help you out. So, uh, my rent is $800 a month and how I pay that is every paycheck I get, depending on how much it is, depending on what I'm doing, say it's like between $700 and $800 for easy math. So I'll grab $800, I'll grab uh, $400 in the first paycheck because say I get paid bi-weekly and toss it into a different account. So I don't touch it, I don't have to worry about it until I gotta pay rent. And then, I'll break down my grocery budget. Uh, I do $75 a week, which comes to $300 a month. And I will, before I go grocery shopping, look at what I already have. Meal plan for that week with the stuff I already have. And then I'll write a list of what I need. Uh, coffee, coffee cream, fresh veggies, maybe some avocados, bread, whatever. Um, and then, you know, I'll go, I'll check Flash Food, which I will leave a link in below. They have a bunch of stuff, boxes of fresh produce, um, sometimes they'll have lunch meat, sometimes breads, whatever. I'll look on that first. I'll have a link in the, the cards for you, so you can see that. Like, see what I shot for. Anyways. Um, and then if a other bill is due, like, say, my cell phone or my internet, which is between $100 and $120, I'll just pay that in full if I can. If I can't, I'll just half it like I did rent and then pay half of it now and pay half of it when, for the next paycheck. It all depends on how things are going, you know. And then, um, if the pets need anything, I use that included in my grocery budget or my other budget. Now, go shopping with this. It's just, you can use a plain envelope. I just, I have these that are already made from Jordan Page. Yeah, two budgets. Groceries, which is for food, uh, sometimes pets, whatever you gotta eat or anybody in your house eats. Other is for the pretty shirt you see. Alcohol if you drink. Fun things. Stuff that doesn't really have a category, but you need a budget for it. Sometimes I'll put the cat stuff on the other budget. Sometimes I won't. It depends on how that week or that month is going. You know, pandemic and you don't really, you don't really know what's going on. And that's how I do that. Um, also, if you have debt, whatever is left over from your paycheck for the, the two weeks or the month, whatever, pay your debt off first. Whatever's looming over your head, like you have a credit card that's racked up, like you had to borrow money from a friend, you, whatever. Pay off your debt first and then go with savings account. Write down your goals. Get a a journal or like my budget binder that I got here from Jordan Page which already has a debt tracker. I have been doing really good on this to be completely honest. Debt tracker. Write down what you owe and then throughout you don't have to get a binder like this I just have one because I wanted it and it was Christmas. Um, like I said, terrible at <laughs> this. Um, write down how much you owe, and then every time you're making the payment, write down how much you put on it, the date, and what's left. So you know what's going on with your finances. Like, some people say you need multiple bank accounts. I don't have that yet. I got two and a credit card. You don't need multiple credit cards if, like, you're trying to be responsible. All your debt in one spot, one credit card. Like, unless you have, like, student loans or whatever. And that's how I do that. And then, like, even... Even having, like, Christmas. You can have a Christmas budget. I have a sticky note that's random and more blocks. You can have whatever budget you need. Like, here's my savings goal tracker because I want to go on a trip, but I want to pay off my debt first. 
all I need to go on my trip, when we can go on trips again, because <laughs> you know, right now no one's going anywhere, or they're not supposed to be. I want to go even to, sh to Chicago, and I want to go to so many places. Like, I want to go to Texas, and I want to go, I want to go places. Like, I've been all to all these places, if you haven't seen, in my Growing Up in a Semi-Truck video. I also linked that in the cards as well, so you can watch it if you want. There's not a whole lot of detail in there, but, like, if you have a question or you want to know some stuff, let me know, I'll make another video. I've been to all these places when I was, like, six years old or younger. I don't remember. Like, I have postcards and stuff because we collected them, but I don't remember being in there really that much. Like, and I want to go there now that I'm older and can I do more things. So I have a saving school tracker of $5,000 as my first school. I haven't, I haven't done anything with it. Like, as you can see, there's nothing, there's nothing there because I'm trying to pay off my debt first. I'm trying to be a responsible human. It is hard to be a responsible human. But, yeah. That's my savings tracker, like there's, I have trackers for special occasions, like, like you don't need this fancy binder, you can do it yourself. Um, Valentine's Day, birthdays, Christmas, it's all on here, so you know that what you have for these things, how much you spent, who it was for, what it was for. And also, if you have an envelope, put all your receipts in it so you know where your receipts are for at the end of the year when you're doing your taxes. You can look through your receipts, you can give them to your accountant or do it, to your, do it yourself. Especially if you have a business, because there's a whole bunch of write-offs you can have. Um, so, you know where everything is. But yeah, that's what I do. So for my budget, every two weeks I, I get roughly, roughly, uh, between seven hundred and eight hundred dollars, and I divide four hundred for rent, pay off my bills, have a budget for all the fun things, have a budget for groceries, have have all that. It just makes things easier if when you get a paycheck, you split it in half. So at the end of the the week, you still have some money. Because it's hard to live paycheck to paycheck. I know. I'm doing it right now. But yeah. If you have any questions, let me know. Comment in the comments. Subscribe. Like. Do all the fun things. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.